Facebook has developed a AI model to tell when a video is using a deepfake and can even tell which algorithm was used to create it. The term deepfake refers to a video where artificial intelligence and deep learning, an algorithmic learning method used to train computers, has been used to make a person appear to say something they have not. Notable examples of deepfakes include a manipulated video of Richard Nixon's Apollo 11 presidential address and Barack Obama insulting Donald Trump, and although they are relatively benign now, experts suggest that they could be the most dangerous crime of the future. Detecting a deepfake relies on telling whether an image is real or not, but the amount of information available to researchers to do so can be limited, relying on potential input-output pairs, or rely on hardware information that might not be available in the real world. Facebook's new process relies in detecting the unique patterns behind an artificially intelligent model that could generate a deepfake. The video or image is run through a network to detect fingerprints left on the image imperfections when the deepfake was made, such as noisy pixels or asymmetrical features that can be used to find its hyperparameters. To understand hyperparameters better, think of a generative model as a type of car and its hyperparameters as its various specific engine components. Different cars can look similar, but under the hood, they can have very different engines with vastly different components. Facebook reverse engineering technique is somewhat like recognizing the components of a car based on how it sounds, even if this is a new car we've never heard of before. Finding these trains is vital, as deepfake software is easy to customize and allows malicious actors to hide themselves. Facebook claims it can establish if a piece of media is a deepfake from a single still image, and by detecting which neural network was used to develop them, could be used to find the individual or group that created it. Facebook also said, since generative models mostly differ from each other in their network architectures and training loss functions, mapping from the deepfake or generative image to the hyperparameter space allows us to gain critical understanding of the features of the model used to create it. It is unlikely this will be the end of the deepfake battle, as the technology is still adapting, and knowing that this knowledge is out there, will allow malicious individuals to plan around it. The research will, however, help engineers better investigate current deepfake incidents and push the boundaries further in the ways that these videos and images can be detected. So guys, what do you think about this new Facebook AI model, which can detect deepfakes? Share your thoughts down in comment section, and don't forget to subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon to get instant video notification. So guys that's it for now, see you in next video.